You know how corvids like to collect shiny things? Well, take that ornithological trait and turn it into an asymmetrical multiplayer capture the flag type game, and here we are. Hello everybody, it's Scott here, and we are playing through Jewel Run. It's available on Steam and iOS, and I'm currently playing through on my iPhone. Now this, as I say, is a capture the flag S game where we're having to run around and collect all of these gems, and it is set against the backdrop of this Tim Burton aesthetic inspired type of luck and we get to choose one of two teams we are either trying to get the gems or we are trying to defend our gems from being get and at the moment I have chosen to play as the blackbirds we are running through the Crosby's garden and trying to collect all the gems that grow on the trees so just to talk you through what's happening at the moment as you can see right now the minus 14 that's how many gems we need in order to complete the level but unfortunately we got felled right at that moment Crosby took us down we do only have a certain amount of lives we have to look to the lamppost to see how many lives we have left because it's all in the detail everything you want to know about the match it's all happening on the screen right now and now I'm just frantically trying to run around and get through this labyrinth because what we want to do is we want to find a tree and give it a wee little shake oh there's already a few gems down here. Okay, so whilst I'm collecting these, I'm going to go through the controls. We are obviously... Ah, let's run away from Mr. Crosby. We are obviously trying to collect them and moving around with the joystick on the left-hand side of the screen right now. The more gems we get, the more bogged down we get. So what we may have to do is... Oh no, we didn't get caught up, but we can jettison gems if we want in order to speed up a little bit. We only get through... That's it, get through the gate. Beautiful. Okay, so now we're here. I'm going to jettison some gems by tapping on the rock button here. There we go. We throw them into the pile. Beautiful. Let's jump back out. How many more do we have to get? Oh, that was the end of the match. Whew, there we go. As I say, this is a big multiplayer game. You can team with a lot of other people. I'm currently just playing on the solo training. This is just the one player against AI and bots just to show you what it's like. This is what it was like as the Blackbirds. So now I'm going to show you what the other side is like as the Crosbys. So, but just before we jump into it, this is a free to play game. You do have the option to spend real money in order to buy the premium version. And as you can see here, the premium version, you've got different costumes, you've got different eye colors and hats and all different types of things. You can decorate your character as you wish, but you can just free to play, jump in and have a go. And let's jump back out because I want to show you what the other side is like. And now we're going to choose the Crosbys. This time we are trying to defend our gems from being stolen. So who really is the villain here? Even though the Crosby looks like this big werewolf and can set dogs on people, it's all a bit like, ugh. But honestly, who is actually the real villain? So we can attack by pressing the frying pan and we clout someone over the head with a frying pan. We knock them out. What we want to do is we want to just try and find the rustling before they run away. But we can also set some dogs to hunt down. There we go. Oh, nice little clatter there. Nice little clatter. What we want to try and do is in this mode, obviously it's not about collecting gems. It's about knocking out the blackbirds as much as possible because once all the blackbirds have gone, there ain't anybody left to collect any gems. Okay, I've done quite well on here. I tried this before and I did not do well. The game was over in about 30 seconds. But let's see if I can... Oh, come on. Come on. Okay, so we've got my... My dog is out and I'm trying to sick, sick my dog on one of them. But I'm just getting a little bit more success with the frying pan at the moment. So let's see... Come on. They all want to come down this end because this is where the trees are. So I'm just going to do a little bit of... Okay, there's a little bit of patrol there. Oh, just missed. Okay, they're growing back now. Here we go. Let's try and jump in again. Come on now. Come on, come on. Here we go. Oh, we've got them in two in one place. And we go smack. And I just... Did I just clip? Did I just clip? I think I may have just clipped. Oh, it does act a little bit like Sonic in that respect. When he gets hit and drops his rings, he doesn't completely get knocked out. So when they're carrying the gems, at least that's a little bit of a buffer for them. They drop all their gems. But if you manage to land another hit, somebody just... Oh, there's only one. That's a shame. I can see here, minus one. They only need one more gem. So what I might do is I might just patrol. It's real risky, but I'm going in the defense line. Right, I, I, oh, right at the edge. No, that's it. They've got past me. They've got past me. My dog hasn't helped. They've got through... Ah, they managed to steal all my gems. Absolutely gutting. It is a little bit more difficult just being the one person running around trying to knock down all these four. Of course, you know, 
you can cause some serious damage on them, but there are four of them. So maybe focusing on one at a time to knock them out and then just try and whittle them down. As you can see, I think I managed to get rid of one. They only had zero jewels, but the other one collected 20. That was the one I needed to focus on, the one in the uh, hound's tooth coat there. But anyway, as I say, that was solo practice. Let's try and jump in to an actual online match. Let's see what happens. So whilst this is loading, let's, let me just try and vamp a little bit, but if the load screen goes on for too long, I'll just have to cut to where you know, jump back in again. Yeah, this is a really kind of unique game. I really like it. The art style is definitely something that's very striking. That sort of, as I say, Tim Burton aesthetic inspired, even though it's not really Tim Burton. I think Tim Burton gets a lot of credit for an entire aesthetic that isn't necessarily his, but never mind, I'm going off on a tangent right there. But running around, playing with other people, having other people on your team, you can even, you know, invite your friends to join in and everything. Jumping in so that you can run around and just, yeah, it's kind of like Dead by Daylight, but with less horrific and it's in isometric and it's a little bit cuter, but four people working together, trying to avoid one person who's out for them to try and get rid of them. It's all a bit. So, I've spoken for all this time, but it doesn't seem like anybody's jumping in. Oh, do you know why? I should have probably clicked on looking for players right there. I should have probably clicked on find players. Never mind. Let's jump on through. I'm still learning. Haven't played any of the online games as of yet. I've only been playing the solo training. But let's see if we can match with any players. I'm just going to stop speaking for a bit and I'll edit back in when we manage to find some. So unfortunately, I couldn't find any players, which is a real shame because it would have been nice to see what it was like playing online. I think it's because it's a relatively new game, so maybe still needs to get more people onto the servers, still needs to get more people playing and online. So if you see this and you enjoy it, make sure to jump in and give it a go because, hey, you'll be able to populate those rooms, you'll be able to populate those servers and jump on in and play some games. But I'm jumping in again to show you what it's like in the solo round just once more as the Blackbirds because I did feel that I had a little bit of a better shot as the Blackbirds. So we need to get minus 35. We need to get that to zero, collect as many as we can. Okay, so luckily the gems are already on the floor, but what you need to do is, I'm just gonna walk around here. Hopefully no one comes after me. Oh, there is a dog after me right there. So you see the tree and it's got one mushroom on it. That means one person can shake the tree. You do that by tapping it and shaking it here. But if you see any other mushrooms on any trees, if there's two or three, that's how many players you need in order to be able to shake the tree. You can't just do it by yourself. So that's when it's necessary, especially on online play, to coordinate because we also have an option here. I'm just gonna try and make a dash for the gate. There we go, slip through the bars because I'm collect carrying a lot of gems right now. I'm just gonna show you this other option right here. I'm gonna drop all of them. Beautiful. Let's jump back out because this button here above the dash button sends up a balloon. It sends up a little like signal for people to converge on you. So if you find yourself in a position where you're like, ah, I really need more people to help me out here. Maybe I've jettisoned a lot of gems because you can just make a break for it or you can gain a little bit of distance, drop the gems as you see now as I'm tapping the gem throwing icon and it sort of speeds you up a little bit. It makes you a little bit quicker and the dog is after me. And no, oh, I was right at the edge, but I managed to do a dash and get through. The dog can't get through. The dog goes round and collects the dropped gems, but we do have a little bit of a breadcrumb situation here. We can go back and pick them up. Oh, Crosby whacks me over the head with the frying pan. I have been absolutely, oh, scrambled eggs right there. Oh my goodness. I feel like a full English. Let's go through. Come on, here we go. We got one there. We got, come on, let's go on round. And when you start playing it and you jump in further and you explore more, you can make your own character. You can customize them as you wish. You can change their outfit, change their look, give them hats. Ooh, the dog, but we won. Whew. So you can definitely make the character more unique. You can make them, tailor them to your preference. The Blackbirds have won. I've gained some experience. That is wonderful. My friends, this has been Jewel Run. Let us know down below what you think. We'll be having a go at this. Are you a fan of these multiplayer games or you have to work together and for a common goal? Let me know in the comments below. But for now, my friends, luck and more to you all and catch you next time.